Hermione plants. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different, and I am setting up a new reading tracker for my catch-all classic happy planner. So last year, I set up this books to read tracker of all the books that I have sitting in my bookcase that I want to get read, or maybe a few that I don't have yet, but I want to get them read too. And obviously, as you can see, I have not been doing a very good job of staying on top of my reading lately. So I really wanted something that was going to help me a little bit more. And it looks like, before we get started, Melissa wants to come up and say hi. She's been very, very helpful this morning. So I wanted to do something that would be a little bit more effective at motivating me to read and to really help me get in the habit of reading a little bit every day. So, Molly, apparently it's Molly's playtime here. So I played around with a few different things and what I ultimately decided on was combining two of the things that I really love. One is my happy planner and the other is stuff from Coco Daisy. So for anyone that doesn't know, Coco Daisy has a monthly planner subscription. You can also buy things a la carte. And then there's all of these free printables that are available on the website that go along with the different monthly themes. And I remembered that one of the old months was called Book Club. So, Molly, what I did, I went through and printed out all the free printables that went with Book Club. And, you know, there's a variety of different sizes. There's different patterns. There's all these super cute birds and owls and books. And then each month in the free printable, there's also some little labels and some, I call these little tab labels. So I went through and I started playing around with all the different printables that were available to go with the book club kit. And I made just a blank sheet of happy planner paper and just kind of started playing around with different ways that I could lay some things out, trying some different things. And then ultimately, when I decided how I wanted each one of the pages laid out, I just kind of taped the free printables that I had cut and cut onto the Happy Planner paper. And then I used my Canon printer and made a copy of the pages. So let me show you how all of my pages turned out. So what I ultimately decided on is I did this layout for kind of the cover page. I love this little book club card and I ended up just using uh, my computer to make kind of a peachy ombre background to set that on so it really popped and the books and teeth for me and then some of these cute little animals and then wow molly you're being super helpful today for the individual trackers i ended up using these and some of these tags and then after multiple attempts of playing around on alignment was able to print these out through Word. So one tab said month and number of pages, one said per day and done. I had some issues. I couldn't get things to print double-sided right. I couldn't get them to line up right. And ultimately what I wanted was kind of a fold out tracker. So I forgot to grab my punch. So let me grab it real quick here. All right, so the way I envision this working in my happy planner is it will be in my planner like this, 
And then this page will fold out. This gives me 12 books, six on each page, and then also six more on the back. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna take my adhesive tape runner and I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on this front page. And because this isn't something that I'm necessarily going to be using every single day, I think that'll be enough. So I want to make sure I get it lined up correctly. Because that would suck to put one page on upside down. So I'm going to put this one on top of here and just press it down. And then... I'm going to do the same thing with this page. Originally, when I started doing this, I was just going to use my adhesive tape runner and put the different Cocoa Daisy printables right on the page. But then what I found was it was getting a little bit too bulky. And with some of them, I was having some trouble getting the edges all the way adhered. Okay, did that right. So this is the page that's actually going to get punched. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch right here. And double check, I had to move some things to make room for the punches. And then if Miss Molly will cooperate with me, we're gonna line these two pages up. And I picked this washi tape because it's kind of neutral, but it had a little bit of bling to it. I tried to look at my washi stash for something that had the peach, the blue, the green, and I just wasn't finding anything that I really, really liked. And this one's a little bit different because it has a backing page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to use the grid lines to help me line it up. I'm going to put it about halfway on. And then I'm going to turn the pages over, make sure they stay lined up. And I'm just going to fold this over. And I made it just a little bit long on purpose. So we're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna open this up. And I wanna go ahead and on the one hand, I think it looks super cute but I want to make sure that the pages don't pull apart. So we use the center to guide us. And since that's a little transparent, it's showing through just a little bit. So that's just gonna provide a little extra support to my page. Molly is now attacking my ponytail, which is making this a challenge. So, I have grabbed my October book. And I know you can't see this, but this crazy kitten is sitting on top of my head. All right, so, the way I envision this, we're gonna start with my October book which I have selected Stephanie Fleming's new book, Plan a Happy Life. So I'm gonna write October 2020, 
So I'm going to write the month and the year. And then I'm going to write the title of the book. And a happy life. Apparently, Mollis wants to help me write. Normally, she doesn't want anything to do with me when I'm trying to film. So when I was doing a pet tracker and I wanted her in the video, nah, not going to have it. Not going to have it. So, I have month. The month is October, so there are 31 days in October. And I've already checked. There are 207 pages in Plan a Happy Life. So that means if I want to get this entire book read by the end of October per day, I need to read 6.67 pages. So we are going to round that up to seven pages per day. And then I have a place to check when it's done. And then in November, I'll pick my book. I'll write November 2020, the title of the book, and do the same thing. So now I have a daily goal of how many pages I need to read. So I pulled out from the book club kit, I had some of these daily to-do sheets left for my personal rings. So I just added another row of check boxes and I've marked every one with a date, one through 31. So right here, we're gonna put daily to do for October. Up here, I'm gonna write plan a happy life. So my goal with this is every day, I'm gonna write down how many pages I've read and make sure that it's a minimum of seven. So I actually got started on this a little bit earlier. So I have read pages one through 14. So every day I'm gonna track how many pages I write. Now, I didn't take into account how many of the pages in this book are, you know, pictures, but all in all, I'll probably finish this book before the end of October, but that's fine. I can go ahead and I think what I'm gonna do with the rest of the month is work on some magazine articles. The other thing I like is on the back of this page, there's some room for notes and ideas. So I can use this to jot down anything that I wanna do. And this is going to live right inside the cover of my book. So now, I'm gonna change where I have this. A few things going on here. So I'm actually gonna put this right at the end of October. So it's gonna live in my planner right there, November. I'll put it at the end of November. And now I have something to keep me accountable. It's super cute the way it turned out. It took an awful lot of time to cut the printables, lay them out, make the copies, cut the pages down, figure out how I wanted it to work. But now that I've done it for this, I've got some templates. I think my light just shut off. Molly apparently thinks it's too bright. I've got some templates that I can use going forward to kind of help me lay things out faster. So I really thought this was a super cute way to combine my happy planner with my love of Coco Daisy and give me a very functional insert. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button below. If you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing and happy planning everyone.